Hello guys, welcome to my channel Comrader Bengaluru. As we all know, Honda is best for its smoothness. Yes, today I am reviewing the new model from Honda that is Hornet 160R. As name of the bike Hornet sounds muscular and yes, bike is. So today I am reviewing the CBS version which is top model of Hornet. CBS stands for Combi, Combi Braking System. That means when you apply rear brake, some percentage of brake is applied to front wheel also. So coming to engine, it is 163cc single cylinder engine which produces a max power of 15.8 PS at 8500rpm and max torque of 14.76nm at 6500rpm. So bike looks great at all point of view. The one part which I like the most is the X shaped tail lamp which looks very attractive and unique. For a certain bike looks like 300cc or more from behind. Tires, hmm, interesting. Tires are also muscular with huge one at rear which is good for handling and corner stability. Both front and back has got disc brake which is great for 150cc segment bike. Suspension is good for all round purpose with monosock suspension at rear. And again it has got a muscular tank with the capacity of 12 liters which is more than enough for a daily commuting and for touring as well with 44 kilometers per liter of mileage so i was not much happy with the digital console because which follows the same one which is in unicorn 160 but it's informative so overall bike looks very great attractive and muscular now it's time for a test ride. As soon as I started the engine, I got a small smile on my face because of its silent engine. Again when I opened the throttle, I got another small smile on my face because of its butter smooth engine. Seating was upright and comfortable. Throttle response was great and bike was stresslessly pulling me. Gear shifting was also smooth and pickup was also great. Bike is easy to be ridden inside city that means maneuverability is good. Bike was stable at any kind of ride. I wish I would have taken this bike to highway for test ride so that I could have tested well on a straight stretch and some cornering on hills as well. But no problem I can feel all the positive feedback from the bike. So overall rating from me will be like this so i give 9 out of 10 why i am missing the one point the missing one point is because i did not like the headlamp and the front design of the bike which means the front look is not that great attractive for me when i felt so that because of that i did not like the uh, like when it compares to the I like the most AS 150 front view so okay there is one point which I put out so if you are looking for a daily commuting and some weekend rides and for good cornering then you opt this bike I would easily suggest this bike over Jixxer, Yamaha FZ and AS 150 but Jixxer stands strong in front of this bike So exhaust noted here. So thanks a lot for watching this video guys. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.